Hello friends. Good morning. Today I will discuss about the types of projection. There are basically two types of projections. One is primary projection. Second is backup projection. So let us see what is the primary projection. Primary projection is the essential projection, or we can say main projection provided to every equipment of the power system and it operates in minimum possible time. Now let us consider this simple system, two radial feeders sourced at one end only. There are two sections AB and BC. These are the connected loads at the buses. For section AB, relay RA is used. For section BC, relay RB is used. So RB is acting as primary protection to section BC and RA is acting as primary protection to section AB. So that is the primary protection. It is provided to every equipment of the power system. It is main protection, essential protection and it operates in least possible time. Now let us see what is backup protection. Now when we consider the entire protection system, it consists of relay, circuit breaker, CT, PT, trip coil, then power supply, DC power supply and the complete trip circuit. So probability of failure of any component is there. So when any of the component fails, then entire protection system fails to operate. So we cannot eliminate the possibility of failure of primary protection. Therefore we require the second line of protection, so that is called as backup protection. So backup protection is nothing but the second line of protection and it operates when primary protection fails to operate or when primary protection is taken out for maintenance purpose. So that is the backup protection. Now well, let us see what are the types of backup protection. There are two types of backup protection. One is local backup, second is remote backup. Now let us see what is this local backup protection. Local means it is provided at the same place where primary protection is there. So for this line BC, RB is acting as primary protection. So local backup will be provided at the same location. So this can be provided by the duplicating principle. So either we are using two different relays or we are using two different circuit breakers or we are using two different CTPT or we are duplicating the entire protection system at this point. So what will be the drawback? Drawback is we require additional cost. If we are duplicating the entire protection system, we have to provide two relays, two circuit breakers, two trip coils, two trip circuits, two DC power supplies and so on. So cost is more. But what is the advantage? Advantage is it operates in the same time. That is least possible time it also operates. So if there is failure of the primary protection, the backup protection that is local backup protection operates in the same time. And only that portion where the fault has taken place is disconnected from the system. Second is remote backup protection. So as the name indicates, it is remote means it is not provided at the same location. It is provided at somewhere else. So in this case, RB is acting as primary protection to section BC and RA will act as backup protection to section BC. It will act as primary protection to section AB and backup protection to BC. Now what is the advantage? Advantage is we do not require any additional cost in installing the remote backup protection. But what is the drawback? Drawback is now when fault F2 is there, first RB should operate because it is the main protection. But when RB fails to operate, then only RA should operate as backup protection. So it has to wait for some time. It has to wait for some time and it has to see whether the primary protection is operating or not. And if this primary protection fails, then only the remote backup protection should operate. So there is time delayed operation. It is not operating instantaneously. We have to provide some additional time delay. That is one of the disadvantages. And second disadvantage is when RA operates for fault F2, then 
load L2 as well as load L3. Both will be disconnected. If for what F2 only the primary production is operating, then only load L3 will be disconnected. If it is the local backup, then only L3 will be disconnected. But when we are providing remote backup, RP fails to operate and RF operates for forward F2, then load L3 as well as load L2, they will be disconnected. So second big disadvantage is large portion of the power system, large area of the power system is disconnected when remote backup protection is operating. But advantage is we don't require any additional cost. Thank you.